All right, so we're talking about self-worth, okay? Um, you, please, have self-worth. That you are worth being a hero. You, your story, the things that you've been through, the difficulties, the, the successes, where, you know, what you have accomplished, your experiences, it is worth being a hero. But you need to know that, right? Please have enough self-worth to know that you are a hero and your hero story can add value to another person, okay? Now let's get into it. The realization of personal potential. This is, this is great. This is great because right here, you know that you have more to offer, okay? And what more do you have to offer? When do you realize that you have more to offer? And I would say probably when your plan A tanks and it fails, right? And you have to pivot to another plan. What was that for me, okay? I figure I have more to offer when basketball is over, okay? When my basketball career is over, I, ha I, I had to find something else, right? But what I realized I thought basketball was going to be forever and the realization when I found out that I had more to offer it changed my life and I'll go to slide one that was through my creativity right that's when I knew I had more to offer but it goes a step further okay because my creativity led me to creating a TV show. It was like a makeover TV show, okay? But it also led me to creating Project Swag, which went around the country helping dis advantage kids and the first kid I met was Jason who was battling cancer okay so now I know that my life is not over because I can't play basketball professionally anymore okay I know that I have more to offer through my creativity, creating this TV show, which ultimately led me on this path to creating Swag University, to helping disadvantaged kids, to meeting this first kid, and going on this journey to help these kids achieve a dream and have an epic experience. So now I'm like, man, hold on a second. I have a lot of purpose in my life, and I have what? More to offer, okay? More to offer. What does that look like for you? What does that look like for you? When did you realize that you had more to offer? Put it in there, break it down just like this, okay? Break it down just like this. Think of what you thought your plan A was gonna be. That failed, now you had to pivot to something else and you didn't even know that you had more to offer until you came upon that time where it was like you had to have something else to offer or you stumbled on it. However it looks, you had more to offer, okay? Now, unveiling the lies. Let me erase some of this real fast. Unveiling the lies. This is important. This is so important because we all were lied to. We all were lied to. It's just a fact. We were lied to by our parents. I'm a parent. I've lied to my kids. You know, 
do the things that society tells you to do and you'll be successful, right? Do good in school, go to college, get a job, you'll live the American dream, get a husband for my daughters, you'll live the American dream. Uh, in, in the hood, we were lied to. We were lied to through rap music, to be gangsters, to be thugs. We were lied to uh, from people, to, uh, basketball is the only way out. These are all the lies. You know, these were all the lies that we were told, right? We were told only way out is a wicked jump shot or slaying crack rock, okay? Lies, complete lies. Gangs, right? But then we also were lied to by the American dream of just go to school, right? Get loans and you'll achieve the American dream by your career, right? Which is a byproduct of these things, going to school, okay? Now in 2024, we know that it is a different path. So these were some of the lies. And you have to think of, you know, some of the lies that were told to you, okay? And unveil them, all right? This complete lie, right? Complete lie. The only way out is by shooting a basketball or slaying crack. Some of the lies. Prison is street cred. Lies, lies. It's not cool to do good in school and talk proper English. Lies, dispel all of those lies that were integrated in us through origin, through journey of findings, unveil them in part three, okay? Unveil the lies, because they all were lies, right? And you have to figure out how that works for you. What lies were you told? I'm just giving some examples, okay? But what lies were you told that you need to unveil that was not true? It wasn't true, okay? Sharing your gifts, right? This is, a, this, is, this is sharing your gifts. This is important. It's all important, but sharing your unique gifts with the world, it makes you feel a joy that is unmatched by most things, okay? Sharing your, your gifts, that creativity. That creativity, right? Sharing that to making that TV show. Having the audacity to share that gift 
with a broadcast audience of what I created, sharing those gifts, okay? How did, that, how did that match up for you? How did you go out and share your gifts with the world? Okay? Ah, okay, continuous growth. Continuous growth. I don't know if I wanna go back on and sharing your gifts, that's why I keep looking. Because I got a lot to say here. But I wanna keep it, I wanna keep this a little bit brief. Because it's, it's 10 parts in part three. So, um, I don't want to go too much. I think you get the point. Share your gifts, okay? Now, this continual growth, okay? For me, what I can say is my entrepreneurial journey started with an independent record label. Right? Then it moved to Swag U. To Project Swag. To Retail Store. And in between Clothing Company clothing company but this right here where it started was very very amateur this didn't last but not even a year honestly and this right here didn't make any money from what we thought it was going to make money so the, this business plan was not good but the continual growth from here to getting sponsors, Kodak, 25K, right? To Project Swag working with organizations like the New England Patriots, working with Gronk, Jabberwockies, okay? That's continual growth, you know, to the retail store, everything that happened with the, the shipping container store. Um, continual, continual growth, okay? I need you to break down your continuous growth, all right? When you started, how did it progress? And even if you fell back, so you might have started something great, but then you digress here, but then you came back up here. So I want you to share your continuous growth, okay? That's what I want. I want you to share your continuous growth. This is a big one. Learning from mistakes. Learning from mistakes, okay? If we don't learn from our mistakes, I think they call it insanity because you'll do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again and you won't get different results, okay? That's why we must learn from our mistakes, okay? I will, let's say, give an example of a mistake that I made. Let's say, hmm, which one? Because I've made a ton of them. <laughs> let's say, which one, which, what is a mistake? Ah, okay. We'll go back to slide to slide one. The mistake that I made going to prison for short term money, helping a friend a so-called friend, let's say associate, that wound up getting me here, okay? Because of what I did for that person, learning from that mistake, whereas 
let's just play the long game from now on, okay? If it's too easy, we don't want it, right? If it seems too good to be true, we don't want to do that, all right? We must learn from these mistakes, you know? We must learn from these mistakes so we can continue the growth, okay? And it's funny, continuing the growth, embracing that growth, okay, is the last one, but learning from mistakes. And like I said, I have hundreds of mistakes that I can learn from. We're always learning from our mistakes, but you must identify those mistakes. That was just one I can give you. Let's say, I'll give you another one. I'll, I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. Let's say, on a business tip, okay? On a business tip. Budgeting, okay? Budgeting for, for the TV show. Since we're talking about the TV show, talk about budgeting for the TV show. Guess what I did? Never made a budget. Money comes in. Guess where it goes? Where I think, which is never good, right? It's never good in a budget. You need a budget where everything is allocated, okay? Check from Kodak, 20, uh, I'm sorry, 25, 25K. Twenty five K. Oh, man. OK, what do we do that? How do we allocate that? OK, how do we allocate that? Well, you know what? It's a business expense to do this on this dinner. It's a business expense to do that, but never had a real budget for now in my startup. We know when you get something like that, you already know where it's going because use of funds right learning from my mistakes bam i know that you need a budget because you have to break down the use of funds okay learning from my mistakes okay you do the same how did you learn from your mistakes how did you learn from your mistakes break it down be honest, man. If you're not honest with yourself, you might as well just quit this now, okay? Because like I said, I talk about the self, like talk about being self-aware. If you're not gonna be honest with yourself, you ain't gonna be honest with the people that you need to help, okay? You need to be transparent, flat out, okay? Learning from mistakes, and I know it might hurt. It might hurt to be honest, but it's the best policy. Embracing the growth. Okay? Embracing the growth. How do we do that, okay? Man, we'll keep going. Prison was bad and embarrassing. I'm still, to this day, embarrassed to tell you this went on because I don't know what you think about me. You may think that one thing about me and that may ruin our relationship. It's embarrassing. However, the growth that I got from that experience, I have to embrace, okay? Because there's a lot of growth from that experience, okay? Embracing that growth. Embracing the growth of the record company fails. And then taking that 
take that into new venture. Taking that into the new venture, okay? That's embracing that growth from failing and taking it to a new venture, okay? How does that look for you? Embrace that growth because in failure, you can look at it one way or you can look at it another. You say, yo, I fail, I quit. Or you can look at it and say, yo, I learn. I'm embracing that and I can take that into the next venture, the next thing that I'm going to do. But you have to embrace it first, right? I had to embrace this was such a bad and embarrassing experience. But man, what came out of it was a lot of growth. It's a lot of growth that came out of that experience, you know? So this is slide two, right? The realization of personal potential. The realization of your personal potential. You should be, you should, you, you should be feeling this in yourself because you have so much personal potential, potential, but you have to realize it. Realize it through, you have more to offer, unveiling the lies, sharing your gifts, continuous growth, learning from mistakes, and embracing that growth, okay? That is slide two. Slide two, guys, okay?